Hey Fred, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic and most fun community in all gaming. If you've ever been playing Wild Rift and thought, do I even need boots? If I'm gonna buy boots, what boots should I buy? When should I buy the boots? This video is gonna be for you. I obviously can't go through every specific situation about what boots, what champions, and exactly when to buy them. I am going to lay the foundation for you to learn how, when, and why you should be buying boots, as well as some general guidelines I follow to help you get started and also be more confident in your decisions about what boots you do buy. Right off the bat, you should be buying boots. They help you move faster, get to objectives, get to fights, and you're going to want a pair of boots. So make sure that you're at least buying boots. As a rule of thumb, I buy the tier 1 boots after my first item, and I often buy the tier 2 boots at that same time as well, or right after the tier 1 boots. The main situation I wouldn't buy the tier 2 boots right after my first item is going to be if I have enough gold to get my second item. Then I will buy that second item in full and then move on to the boots. Otherwise, I'm generally just buying the tier 2 boots right away. Okay, we got it. We know that we need boots. Now what tier 2 boots should you be buying? I use a couple of guidelines. The first, if there are 4 attack damage enemies on the other team, I will definitely buy the plated steel caps. If there are three or four ability power champions on the other team, I'm definitely buying mercury treads. For sure if there's four or five, I'm buying either of those. I think you get that. It's the other boots that we're maybe not so sure about. The way that I determine I'm gonna be buying the other boots that, other than the mercury treads or the steel or the plated steel caps is I look at the top 10 to 15 people for a given champion and I will go through those 10 to 15 and I'll see what boots they're wearing. You're always going to have people that troll and put things that they're not actually using but if you look at 10, the top 10 to 15 usually you will find some patterns about what boots they're actually using and I will copy that. My next piece of advice is not very sexy. It's you got to experiment for yourself. Everybody has different play styles even on the same champion people play them differently and you got to figure out what works for you. So unfortunately, you got to try out boots, see what works, and determine what's best for you. And that's how you're going to really learn what boots you should be buying. If you like this video or my item series I've been doing, you could like, comment, and subscribe. First, that lets me know that you want more of this type of content. And second, it helps the channel grow. So I appreciate that a lot. Hopefully I see you on the Rift. GG.